Get a huge discount and four months for free from today's sponsor at nordvpn.com forward slash forge. Welcome back to this workshop for the very last time here in beautiful Montana. You can see my favorite mountain range, the Bridger Mountains, peeking through and taunting me. Now, if you want at least some of the context about why this is the last video here, check out the last episode. But since this is most likely the last time I'm making a video and filming in this workshop, and since we are in the great United States of America, I thought that we should make something that is highly illegal in the UK as our last hurrah here. I don't have much time. It's been a week of packing things. Tomorrow I've got to get on a plane and I've got to leave. But today we're going to make a balisong, a butterfly knife. Mokumegane. Damascus. Damascus. Ah! Damascus! Oh, yes! What is that from? That is some cool Damascus. It's gonna be tough to see on camera, but this is an off cut from some project in the past, but I unfortunately can't work out what project it was. Beautiful, fine, detailed Damascus. Now this right here is mosaic makumegane, copper and nickel. Now both of these things are gonna require some forging, which is just fantastic. Now this makes me think to show you this. Now you remember the awful forge doors I made? The ones with the terrible motors. You know, the ones that broke about three days in. Well, Sam has made them much more functional. Sam who has been helping us making hammers and has basically been a lifesaver. You put a handle on it, Boom. It stays. Boom. It closes. Much better. This forge is so nice. It's so quiet. My forge in England just screams at me. Well, the forge is getting hot. I've sketched out something rough for the blade. I've got to get that Damascus about an inch wide, five inches long. Now, unfortunately, this won't be the last time that I use the Chambersburg because I can't use the Chambersburg. The last time I used this was last year, when I was last here. The micarta gear that is designed to be a weak point has broken. We then sourced another gear, custom made, and it broke after 30 seconds. The machine all feels good inside, but that last gear, we think that the gear was cut in the wrong orientation, and so the teeth were a little bit unsupported, and teeth broke off. So we've got to get another gear. I can't use the Chambersburg, which is devastating, because I would love to use it once more while I still own it. Oh well, the Annie Yang is still rather nice indeed. Woo! Woo! That hits so much! So much nicer than my power hammer in England! concerned it's gonna break apart and delaminate. It's a lot of stress on the material. It would be a real shame to break this apart. So here's what I've been reflecting on. When I made this bit of material, this Mukumegani, it was for a video, welding copper and nickel together, I was probably in the early stages of planning my move to America and working out all the paperwork and logistics. I was getting this dream underway. Ouch. Cold, that one's toasty, still out. That one's cold. Huh. Let's get this thing flat. So it isn't obvious enough. This is gonna be the blade, and from this, I'm gonna make the flippity things. The handles that flip around the blade and all that. And right now, I'm going to commit to putting the groove in here to form those flippity handles. Yeah, it's not going super good. This Makumegane does not like to cut quite expediently or cleanly. This is just what I need when I have like minus five hours to have this project finished in. 
See what happens when you let an amateur near a moon machine. Oh my goodness. It is not looking good. I am not sure what the best plan of action is. Maybe we need to make the handles out of something else. Quick interruption to thank today's sponsor, which is the fantastic NordVPN. It's a virtual private network service with thousands upon thousands of servers in over 60 countries, allowing you to access the internet with safety, anonymity, and a lot of good flexibility. Identity theft is on the rise and you want to keep your data safe. Well, when you're traveling, you're at risk of man in the middle attacks where somebody sets up a fake Wi-Fi network. It all feels good like you're accessing the internet, but in fact, all the data's routing through them and they're catching it all. With Nord, that data's encrypted between you and their servers, so all they will see is a jumbled mess. On the anonymity point, your internet service provider or a malicious government could be spying on what it is that you're browsing if it wasn't for NordVPN's encryption. But the flexibility is truly fantastic. Just the other night, I was wanting to watch a movie and I couldn't make the purchase to stream it while I was here in the UK. So quick and dandy, I hopped onto the app. I switched to a US Nord server and there, I was able to make the purchase and stream the movie effortlessly. They got a 30 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee, so it's completely risk free. So please go to nordvpn.com forward slash forge because you're gonna get a whopping deal on a two year plan and they're gonna throw in four additional months for free. Thank you Nord for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. Complete design change, how convenient that this design change is actually something that I wanted to try when I was thinking about how I would make this yesterday. And then I changed my mind, decided to mill it, but now I get to change my mind right back to where it came from. Go for sheet. Take this, it's flat. I take something the same thickness of the blade, I drive it down and then fold it into a U. We need this, we need this. Now this goes like this. We have ourselves, block, block, spacer. I'm gonna put that, line it up in the middle, then take this, line it up in the middle of that, give it a whack, hopefully it forms into this little U-shaped channel that becomes our flippity flip handle. Oh, you know what I can do. You know I got a hydraulic press. You know, it's something, but it's also not really what I was envisaging. You know, I think this is gonna go a little bit better with some food in my belly. Well, hello, hello, hello. Howdy. Welcome to the workshop, ladies and gentlemen. Good to see you, Will. Good to see you too. Right, what was it that we just ate? Uh, we just had some big old fat, the biggest pieces of backstrap off of the first deer that I shot last fall. It was some and good eating. some delicious garlic mashed potatoes. I had some good mashed potatoes. I did peel the mashed potatoes. It was good, it was good eating. Thank you very much. Of course. And uh, I still got this knife to finish. <laughs> and it's late, so I figured I'd just finish the knife in Will's shop. Sorry. It works out quite well, that's all right. There happens to be the things to finish knives with here. That's convenient. Yep. What about the things to start knives? Because about the progress that I have right now is, you. I don't know if it's fair to call it finishing. Let's see where we're at. I don't know what the Damascus is. You'll have to see whenever we etch it, see if you can remember what it is. And my plan is we're gonna make the old handles, the old flippity boys, out of this copper. And I bent one piece, but I need to bend it tighter. Cool, well I have a giant bench vise that will bend all of this that very is good. easily. I did it with a hydraulic press. I was about to hammer it and I was like, wait! Oh! I've got a hydraulic press! I also have a hydraulic press that has a controller on it so we can bend it very precisely. Yes, you have a very fancy hydraulic press. Mm. Super duper fancy. Super fancy. So have you drawn like a blade shape or done the design work for like where the pivots are gonna be and whatnot? Would you recommend? Having done something like that? You have like an uh, idea in your mind that you want it to be? I've got something in my mind. <laughs> I, kinda, like, I, figure I, I figure I make all the parts, and then once the parts are made, then I figure out how they kind of like interact. All right, I'm gonna get to work on this. And you want me to do the handles? So this is tightening up. I'm liking how it's looking. I will do more of this. I was able to program where that stops. That is unbelievable, Will. What a cool machine.
Well, you know, it's true what they say. That machine really does do all. That it do. Saw that one coming. <laughs> no! <laughs> well, thank you, sir. Yes! Finish this off in the vise. You see how this little blade is coming along, hey? Looking pretty good. Oh yeah, you got the design on there. Yep, fixing to uh, go ahead and drill us a couple of holes. I think there's meant to be like an exemption. If it's past 11 o'clock at night, you can just kind of do whatever to just get it done. That seems reasonable. Both the handles are formed. Will, you've been incredibly productive, oh my goodness. Look at that bad boy. Profile. Next step is to harden it. I've taken to doing my bevels after hardening, and that way, if there's any warpage, first off, it's a lot easier to fix. Second off, you have more meat to grind into. Mmm. Blade goes in, blade gets hot. Look at that. I'm gonna let it cool down all the way and then I'll throw it in for a quick temper cycle at 400 degrees so that it doesn't die when we try and use it. Reference for people who are wondering, Will is a professional knife maker and if he was doing an actual professional knife, he would not be using a toaster oven. No, I do not use this uh, anymore. Amazing. Wow. What timing. Fantastic. Now that's a party blade. Will, this is a snazzy looking blade you got going on. I am quite excited. It, daggers are just not fun to grind, but it's coming out nice. I'm interested that you chose to do a hollow grind because in my head, I would have thought hollow grind, infinitely more difficult than flat grind, but you thought that this was gonna be the faster option. I think so, because it kind of hugs in a little bit better. So you, can, you can't, it indexes a little easier. So you don't get those like weird facets, because once you're in, you're in, you go for it. I say that now, but this is covered in facets currently. But I'm gonna slow down the grinder a little bit, start going up my grits, and I think it'll be a-okay. I think so. Now, while he continues finishing that, I am starting work on the kind of assembly bits. Now, if we play a game of slot the knife, what you will see is there is a big gap. Well, it's not big, but it's a 30 thousandths of an inch gap between the thickness of the blade and the handles that we've made, which is great because what we want to have is washers for it to ride on and be slick. We're gonna make our washers from this plastic box. <laughs> that is 11 thousandths of an inch thick, four thousandths of an inch thinner than I was hoping. And that's probably about close enough. Let's see if I can operate this thing without dying. Hold. Little baby washers. What's next with you? I think I'm gonna sandblast this thing because right now it's currently 1:43 a.m. and I have precisely this this much desire to hand sand anything. Yep. God, sandblasting is so aesthetically interesting for the camera. It makes such great cinematic content. Oh my goodness, that looks so good. Right? What? Wait, what grit sandblasting media are you using? Uh, 80. That's 80 grit. Yeah. That looks incredible. I just did a ton of fettling off camera. We got it closing. We've got it opening. Will is napping. I'm gonna put the little plastic blister wrap washers in. We're gonna screw it together. And then I'll have to wake Will so that he can actually test this thing because I don't know how to run a balisong. So a balisong only wants one edge sharpened. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Pretty much. After my 600 grit, I either go to 30 micron or 15 micron. Bless you. For my final edge before it's dropping. Would you shut up? I'm trying to sharpen here. Ha <laughs> ha! Hell yeah! This is exactly why this is illegal in so many places. It's because it's just so effective. 
and fast at deploying. Oh my goodness. High five, high battle song five. Now I can't do anything with this. So my friend, she is yours. Oh my, cool knife. It's a good visit. Yeah, Lots it was. Of fun. Please, everybody, go subscribe to Will's channel. He's making awesome stuff. Eight See hours. ya. Bye bye.